Hi everyone, my name is Jason Kidner and I'm a business process consultant here at Expium. Many organizations that we work with have JIRA software and are exploring the addition of JIRA service management. Or they have JIRA service management and they're interested to add JIRA software. Well, two important licensing and collaboration questions with both of these products installed is first, what can a JIRA software user do in a JIRA service management project? And what can a JIRA service management agent do in a software project? In this video, I'm going to show you a quick demo on a cloud instance to answer those two questions. So first, you can see this is a cloud instance that has both JIRA service management and JIRA software installed. Now, the first scenario is a cloud account who is licensed as a JIRA software user, but not as a JIRA service management agent. So you can see here they have access to JIRA software, but not to JIRA service management. So when we go into this window, and now as the software user, I'm going to go into this service management project. You can see the tickets listed here. So we notice a few things. I can't see the JIRA service management features like queues, knowledge base, uh, things like that but I can only see issues like I can in a software project. And here they are. So when I click on this issue or ticket, however you want to call them, let's choose this one. I can see uh, the fields, but notice that I can't edit any of these fields. And I can't update the workflow, can't transition this ticket. I also if I choose the more actions, notice I can't log time, even though uh, time logging is turned on in this instance. And I'm even given that project permission with this role. So, uh, so even with this project role that can do most everything in this Jira Service Management project, as a software user, I can only create tickets or subtasks. Uh, I can add internal comments here. I can't interact with the customers. And I can also add links. So this link panel shows up, and I can create linked issues. So I could link this particular ticket to one of the JIRA software project issues that I have uh, permissions to see. So that's about it. There is, a, there is a lot of limitations on what a JIRA software user can do in these service management projects. So now let's cover the second scenario. So let's go back to our administration here. Now I'm going to remove this user as a JIRA software licensed user and add them as a JIRA service management agent. And let's go back out to our projects. And let's just double check that this is user has agent access. Okay, so you can see now this user is a JIRA service management agent and now has all the, the different permissions that uh, an agent can do in these projects. So let's go back to these, the full list of projects. And now as, this, as an agent, I'm going to go into one of the software projects. And, and one note here is this agent, this user who's an agent, has been put into the developer role in this software project, and which has given this user most of the typical project permissions that a developer would have. So when I go into this project, we notice a number of things. First, when I go to the board menu, notice I cannot open any boards that exist in this project. Because again, boards are something related to Jira software, and this is not a, a, a licensed software user. So that agent can't see any of the boards. They also don't see releases out here again, which is another software feature, but they do see issues and components, any project pages and this, this code. So when they click on issues, they see the list of issues. And when they view an issue, let's view this story. See here that I can come in as an agent 
and I can make edits on fields. I can even see versions that are available. I just can't see the releases panel over here. I can also make comments. I can transition the issue through its workflow. I can log time against this issue. I can do pretty much everything that a normal Jira software user could do who's added to a role in this project. But again, I am limited. I can't see boards, and I can't see the release area. So what we learn here is that Jira software users can't do that much in a Jira service management project. But a Jira service management agent can do quite a bit in a Jira software project. So this is one of many factors to be mindful of when deciding on the license count uh, for each of the products that are installed. So, well, thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about Jira software or Jira service management or any other Atlassian products, please visit xpm.com and let us know. And if this video was helpful, please give it a like. Until then, this is Jason Kidner wishing you success in all your Atlassian adventures.